There's all these cities in trouble, real trouble. Budget gaps, revenue shortfalls, and unexpected increases in the amount cities have to pay to banks for their creative financial products. It's a dodgy time right now because policemen that retired at 50 at full salary, who still have their service weapons, by the way, may lose their pensions. There's even talk of bankruptcy. Bankruptcy? Look, the banks would not have encouraged cities to expose themselves to that much debt had they not been certain that the people could be squeezed hard enough to get them their money back with interest. You are a community, nay, a nation of Americans that must band together, adapt, survive, and above all else, not declare bankruptcy. In bankruptcy, you can make bondholders, people like me, take a haircut. And that's something that seems incredibly unacceptable and totally unpatriotic. There are plenty of ways to keep paying interest. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania stepped up and canceled kindergarten. Scranton, Pennsylvania just put all the city employees on minimum wage. Chicago leased their parking meters through us in a very nifty deal. And New York City is thinking about it. Bloomberg, Salman Brothers. Now that's the kind of ingenuity we're talking about. Cancel your kid's education, pay police and firefighters the same as a burger flipper at McDonald's, and sell us your revenue generating assets. It's the truly responsible thing to do. I'm not saying it's easy, but think about it as a character building exercise.